Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Kishalai. So in today's video, I am going to share about my initial days at ISC when I joined there for MTech in uh, in 2018. Uh, so I have completed my bachelor's from a so-called tier two and tier three colleges, and uh, like how difficult it was for me to adapt an environment like ISC. Uh, for MTech and how difficult it was for me to sustain their sustain their being a non IIT student so that I'm going to share in this particular video and also you know when I was joining for my MTech in in ISC I was 28 years of old and many people have this confusion that you know after so many years of completing a BTech whether they should go for the academia because they will be settled and you know much more comfortable in their job in some corporate job so how uh, you know how, how difficult it is to you know come 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 to an institution like ISC after so many years of completing a BTech so it's difficult and how difficult it was for me that's also I'm going to share in this particular video so the overall my initial days at ISC how was the experience that I'm going to share in this particular video so without further ado let's get started with today's video coming to the age factor like a lot of people has this confusion that whether they should pursue their high study after so many years of completing their BTEC and whether they will be able to sustain or cope up with the environment in IITs and ISC where most of their batchmates will be much more younger to them and whether they will be able to compete with those people or not so that kind of confusion many people used to have and also these people like, like when I was also pre pre preparing for gates so I was working and I was much comfortable in my work life so many people don't want to come up come out of that comfort zone and go for the academia and pursue their high study so all these thoughts you know finally people is to end up not attempting gate and you know not pursuing their high studies in IITs and ISC though they have a dream to do so though they have a dream to pursue their high, high study from IIT and ISC but thinking of these things like they are too old to pursue their dream they just give up and I personally think that age is just a number yeah, it's, a, it's a barrier or it's a limitation that you are you know imposing in your mind and it shouldn't shouldn't hold you back from your dream like there is a there is a famous quotation that it's never too late to pursue your dream so if you have a dream that you want to pursue your mtech or higher studies from iit's and isc you should always follow them and you shouldn't think about the age factor i was not bothered about my age when i was joining isc and but i know i i, I know that you know most of my batchmates will be much more younger than me so this fact i was well aware of in fact, many of my batchmates were in class 10th or 11th when I come to doing BTEC. So that was the age difference. But you know, this mental stigma that I am much more elder than those people, I consciously avoid for initial few months. And I tried to be friends with each of them equally. I tried, tried to be involved with their fun, fun things, you know, enjoy, you know, enjoy the fact they are, they are doing and interact with each of them equally so that, you know, I can be friends with each of them. And that made the things comfortable for me also and them also. And we, we become a very good friends throughout my, uh, my journey at ISC. So initial few months or few days, uh, I consciously avoid this fact in my mind that I am much more elder than those people. So that is one thing that I have done. And also then after that, like after two or three months, it was very common for us. We are in a lot of pressure. So that time we, we become groups. Like I personally made groups with those people, did projects together, did assignments and all and study also together so that's how actually like I have managed the whole thing like I made friends with each of them equally so the um, the moral of the story is like if you are not feeling old nobody can feel you old and you know it's just up to you how you are thinking coming to the other things like uh, you know personally when I was joining ISC I was saying that I was completed my I completed my BTEC 2012 when I was joining 2018 so I was not in a regular study habit for a long time so when I joined ISC the whole environment was like you have to put a lot of efforts from your from your end then what will be covered in the covered in the class so uh, it, it demands a lot of hard work from a student's end so I, I has to I, I had to put a lot of lot of efforts from my end to compete with the other students because I was not in a in a in a regular study habits. Those fresh students, fresher students, was coming from from directly from BTEC, so they are in a, they are, they were in a study habit. But I was working in some organization and coming coming to the ISC for MTech, so you know I didn't have that habit. So I had to put a lot of efforts um, for my for my study. Second thing is that most of the professor at ISC they will be referring to PPTs rather than using blackboards. So and personally I was much more comfortable with blackboards because all my study I have done before. Before that was like all the professors used to come to classes and teach in the study boards but you hardly find any anything like that in in ISC so you have to get accustomed with that fact 
second thing uh, third thing is like you know less will be covered in the class and most of the thing you have to cover by your own at home so self study is more must much more important in in colleges like iits and iisc so they will just cover the basic things in the class professors and uh, you have to cover everything you have to understand all the other things uh, by your own third is you know you have to understand the things very well and uh, you you just you know it's if you just mug up the things without understanding you won't be able to crack anything in the examination so be, because in the examination they will be asking you from a very fundamental things and most of the time they will be asking asking the proofs for the particular theory or particular theorem so if you are not you know understanding the subject well and understanding the math or the detail behind it so you won't able to succeed in in colleges like iits and iisc fourth thing is very strange that you know in a particular day at iisc you can have two exams two midterms and deadline for different assignments so all the professors they don't bother what the other course are, courses are going how the other courses are going on all they, they 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 are bothered about their course so they will put the examination on a day when you have another examination also and we have they will give you a deadline for assignments when you have lot of other other assignment deadline so that you have to manage so i personally personally remember that in in between like september mid i have around in a week i have around assignments for all the four subjects have taken and i also have the midterm for all the four subjects so that is a very difficult thing to manage but that is what actually iic iic iis or iit teaches you how to manage time and how to you know uh, like reach your deadline in the in, in within a particular time period and the final thing is that if you have to sustain in iits and iisc it's very very you know crucial for you to form a study group so make sure that you know you 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 form a study group that and within the study group you discuss the assignments you discuss the all the subjects and you know you prepare your for for your midterm for the assignments and all Uh, so i personally formed a study group of two three people so it should not be actually very large it's like two three or four people and we, uh, we used to you know interact with among each other that how to how these questions will be solved and all and we used to prepare for our exam also like studying together discussing the concepts and all so that these are the things uh, actually that actually happened in, in within very i think two three months after joining at isc like this many things happened when these things actually i never uh, encountered before like when i was completing my btech so i never have this kind of things so these are the new things and these are new struggle so overall you have to put a lot of effort in it and and you you will be having a lot of things doing within a very few few uh, few by very limited amount of time so that thing how will you be managing so that actually a lesson that and this is in iit is Uh, will teach you so that's it guys that was my experience about my initial days how how difficult it was for me to you know start my mtech at isc and uh, yeah these are the difficulties i faced uh, in isc in the initial few months so if you like the video please like it and share it with other guys so that you know they will be help they will be benefited from this and also if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and let me know if any other other uh, topic that you want me to make a video of i will try to make it uh, soon So that's it guys that's it our today's video so I'll be meeting in the next video until then bye